happy people i'm back with another video and today i have a different type of bath and body works video so during my sas sale haul i asked you all if you wanted to see how i made foaming hand soaps using just a regular bath and body Works shower gel and i got a lot of comments saying that you all wanted me to show you all a quick tutorial on how to do that so i'm bringing that video to you what you need to do this is any shower gel from bath and body works or it probably could be shower gels from other places too but i know um the potency in the bath and body Works shower gels are nice and thick so you'll get a better foam from it so i'm going to be using the foaming hand soap in uh champagne apple and honey this is part of my project use it up and i'm really trying to get through this scent so um i'm going to use this and then i'm also going to use a foaming hand soap dispenser that's the more important thing you need actually is a foaming hand soap dispenser so i actually hauled this during one of my sas sales a few years back and so you can see this is actually from bath and body works and it is just like a matte black uh, foaming hand soap dispenser i actually i got this um for like two bucks or something during their 75% um, off sale, the SAS sale. But you see it has that foaming hand soap dispenser pump, right? And that's the more important thing that you need in order to make this work. Or you could just use any of your old foaming hand soap dispensers that come in like the regular packaging. I did have that, um, but I guess I've since discarded it. So I'm gonna just use my actual foaming hand soap dispenser. So what you'll need to do for this is you'll wanna fill the bottle up about not even a fourth of the way maybe like an eighth of the way so like maybe up to here so let me go ahead and put some of that in here and i'm just going to kind of eyeball it since i really can't see what's going on down there so i'm going to just pour it in here like so until i think it's enough in there i would say maybe yes I'm going to just kind of take a look. That's filled up to about here. I'm going to fill it up just a little bit more to get it to here. <laughs> so you just add a little bit more here. Like so. Okay. Now I'm going to look inside again. Okay. So inside is filled up to about here, which is where I need it to be. And literally, you guys, the rest of the way, you just fill it up with water. So I have my bottle of water here. I just got some regular drinking water and you'll just fill it up to the top right so let me just pour it up to the top for you guys and i want to kind of look in here just to make sure i'm not overflowing on camera here okay so i filled it up to the top and then you want to make sure you don't fill it up too far up because when you put your lid in Obviously, some of the liquids might spill out, so then you'll want to go ahead and put your top back on. Like so. And then the most important thing and the most fun part is to shake it up. So you just want to shake, 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 I'm done so once you feel like it's all shaken up nice and good typically after i shake it up it has like a lot of like bubbles and suds in it i find that that's not the best way to like use it it's good to just kind of like shake it up and then let it settle to where like the soap or to where the shower gel is kind of mixed in with the water but i'm going to go ahead and demonstrate to you all um what it looks like so i'm just going to go ahead and pump it out So this is my first time actually using this. There we go. Oh, it didn't mix up enough. Okay, so let's try that again. So I think because the lid was too full, I wasn't able to shake the liquid at the bottom to get the shower gel liquefied. So I went ahead and shook it off camera a little bit more. But as you can see, you have your foaming hand soap. Look at that, you guys. Like, isn't that cool? And now you can just kind of lather up your hands and wash your hands as you see fit. And what's lovely about this is uh, now I have the scent of the champagne, apple and honey. Um, I'll be right back. Let me go wash my hands. OK, I'm back. So now you can enjoy your favorite bath and body work shower gel as a foaming hand soap. And when you use it as a foaming hand soap, it lasts way longer. So you see the my bottle was maybe um, a little bit more, wait, a little bit less than half. As you can see, I still have a lot of the shower gel left in here, right? So it was probably right here. 
and then now it's down to here so I didn't really use too much of the shower gel so that's why I was saying that you could probably if you designate a shower gel to just foaming hand soaps you could probably get about let me see you could probably get like six plus different uses out of this if you kind of do your portions the right way you know what I mean so this is a hack that I discovered years ago and I've been doing it ever since so I really don't bother buying any of the gentle foaming hand soaps from Bath and Body Works because I literally just make my own from whatever shower gel that I have so yeah that's a great way to if you all have a scent that you like from Bath and Body Works and you really want to stretch it out and you really want to enjoy it in other forms other than just body care you can so yeah that's the hack for you all I hope you all enjoyed this video definitely get more uses out of your products and find ways to stretch them out to thoroughly enjoy them let me know if you all like this type of video um so I do have like other ways that I repurpose my old Bath and Body Works items so that was one way to repurpose the old foaming hand soap this Spencer. I do have ways that I repurpose like for instance like my old candles from Bath and Body Works um, I use them in a lot of different ways not just the typical ways either so let me know if y'all want to see some hacks on how to repurpose old Bath and Body Works candles if so I'll go ahead and make that video for y'all and show y'all that too because I got some really cool hacks on that and then also let me know if there's any other type of content in particular that you all want to see from me um, I definitely make sure I'm putting out videos that you all want to watch so yeah let me know that down in the comments as well I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Saturdays in particular are my Bath and Body Works videos so if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye